Hello, everyone. Welcome to another week of oh, another live stream, Magic Mondays with Meg. Hello. Um, I just love, I love their relationship. Corey and Steve, they are the best. Uh, Steve always does such an amazing job. Uh, Corey had such an amazing stream. Uh, Josh and Jenna did an amazing stream last night. Um, you know, everyone is just doing so many incredible, incredible streams um, of all the Christmas stuff. And so I, I mean, clearly it's still Halloween for me. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not ready to switch over to Christmas just yet. I still feel like the first week of October is kind of like this morning period for me of like, it's not Halloween anymore because I look forward to it all year. Um, but thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, I have been collecting mail for quite some time for at least the entire month of uh, September and October, I think. Uh, so if anyone sent me mail, it's going to be in this little mail unboxing. Um, but before we start and get into that, I want to say hi to the chat because you guys are all in here. Uh, thank you so much if you're coming over for, um, from being on Steve's stream. Steve always, like I said, does an amazing job. Um, Josh Triple P goes live at seven. And now Mama Mouse is going live uh, from Myers and the Mouse every Monday at six o'clock, uh, five central time. So you don't want to miss her either. There's like a huge lineup on Mondays. So it's like, bam, bam, bam. But Sam, hello. I'm um, a huge congrats to Sam for getting monetized. Like that is a huge accomplishment. If you guys don't know, you don't, um, you're not a creator. Uh, you need a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time to get monetized. So that is a huge, huge accomplishment. Um, so so huge congrats, Sam. Uh, Captain Acron, hello. I always love when Captain Acron comes in. Yes, another Magic Mondays with Meg. I love it. Uh, Kit, hello, James Ryan. Faith Hope and Disney, aka Barbara, Timothy Rainwaters, uh, Strive to Be Better, Cody. Cody hit 100 subscribers on Saturday night, which is super awesome. Uh, Oodle Lolly Lane, hello. Lady Jamers, Dad Builds, Chris, Joy S. Joy is going to come on next week, I think, um, for the Funko Pop Talk. So we're going to have some cool Funko experts if you guys are interested in learning more about Funko Pops, because I sure am. It's Joey's World, our Muppet badge of honor recipient this week. We'll be honoring everyone at the end of the stream as well. Classy Disney mom, Tina McNeil. Tina, I hope you had a fun time on your girls trip. Bell Bean, hello. I think this is your first time in the stream, so welcome. Lauren's Travels, I got some mail from Lauren. Awesome, awesome mail, so thank you. Um, Jeffrey Resendez, hello. Michelle the Quilter, LSU mom, Emily. Avery the Cuban American, our M uh, Muppet Badge recipient of last week. Donna Jaworski, hello. I love you, Donna. Donna does amazing streams every other Sunday. Dinners with Donna. Pigalitruski, howdy. Uh, <laughs> Josh from Resort TV One. Somebody told me to come over here. I'm. I know I'm so far behind, guys. I'm sorry. Hi, Josh. Uh, Noah. Hello. The Do Philly Crew. Wendy B. Uh, let me try and catch up before it. Oh, it just jumped. Let me. Let me go back. <laughs> That always happens. And you guys know I like to do my weird dance. Uh, Deborah Doodles, hello. Hannah Anderson, uh, Dreamer Deborah, G. Wilson, uh, Surf Bum, hello. Disney Connections, hello. Hello from San Antonio. Awesome. Hope you guys are doing well over there. Isaac Nail, congratulations on 700 subscribers. There's so many things to celebrate today. Jennifer Piccolo, hello. Karen Cook, uh, what in the world with Russ? Oh, thanks so much, Russ. Yeah, my birthday's this week, so that's pretty exciting. Um, Zippity Doodad. Guys, tomorrow, Patrick from Zippity Doodad is going to have his brand new newborn baby, Jack, Jack Liam, on the stream. I'm so excited. Um, going to be so, so awesome. Mary, hello. Uh, do, 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 I'm going to catch up. Oh, yes. Isaac hit 700. I saw that, Avery. Uh, guys, I'm so far behind. Ryan McDowell Hall. Ryan, I got mail from you, too, that I saw in my P.O. box. I have to send you a message because I <laughs> owe you some money because <laughs> Ryan was so kind. He picked me up something while. Um... Oh, it just jumped again. Uh, so if I've missed you, just let me know. Um, because I don't, I don't even know where I left off. Um, but if I missed you, tag me. I would love to say hi. Um, I don't even remember what I was just saying. Uh, <laughs> but oh, Arjuns! Hi, Arjuns! Welcome, Richard. Nathan Rada, hello. Um, I said Captain Akron. Uh, Noah, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, of course, Monday nights are always so so much fun to get to hang out. 
with all of our friends. Drake Houston, hello, Movie Mania. Nick, hi. Um, Nick said that he just did a review of Hocus Pocus. And um, I just put out a video of when we went to Salem. Actually, Patrick's in it very briefly. Uh, it was so awesome to see him. But we toured, uh, well, we went around and we saw a bunch of Hocus Pocus locations. And uh, Nick said that he had just done a movie review of us. So that's pre pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know if we should just like hop into the mail or um, I'm, I'm going to start off with one that I had gotten a while ago that I just, um, I've been having so many amazing, amazing people on my streams that I haven't had time to like do a mail stream. So uh, this is from <laughs> a long time ago. Come on, come on, come on. Exactly. Uh, this is from, uh, oh, uh, Karen can't chat a lot tonight. I'm not supposed to use my right hand and arm for 24 hours. Oh no, Karen guys send all the prayers to Karen. Karen is supposed to have uh, surgery on Thursday, I think. And if I'm wrong, correct me, Karen. Um, so if you guys want to say prayers for her, um, or light candles, I like to light candles for people. Um, just send all of your good vibes her way, uh, because she's going to need them. Oh, Cherie. Hello. Also a huge congrats to Cherie. Like I said, so many things to celebrate. Cherie got a new job. Um, and today was her first day. So I hope that, you know, you had a good first day. Oh, she said yes, Thursday. So send all your good Disney vibes, Disney magic, uh, prayers to Karen on Thursday, because she's going to, we're, you're going to do awesome and we're going to keep you in our thoughts in person. Um, so like I said, if I've missed you, tag me and, oh, I was talking about Ryan McDowell. Ryan, I owe you money. <laughs> uh, but this first thing, you guys are going to be shocked because uh, this is the most beautiful artwork. And uh, this is from Gigi from Brandy and Dave. This um, this shirt that I'm going to show is from Bijak's Boutique. And Patrick, if you're still in here, I know that you probably have the link somewhere. But if someone has the link to Brandy's uh boutique her her um facebook thing i'm not a facebook person so i don't know steve hi steve uh awesome stream i love hearing about all the holidays and all the stuff that's available and of course cory <laughs> cory oh angela hello uh welcome but this amazing painting is by Gigi, and she said Magical Meg, thank you for everything that you do for everyone with love Gigi. and Gigi is such a talented artist um, this is me, if you didn't know that. It looks just like me with my red hair. Uh, Gigi put all these amazing butterflies on there. So uh, just thank you so much, Gigi, for this. And uh, along with that, Brandy sent me the most amazing shirt, which is like kind of, oh, hey, Josh, welcome. Josh is going to be on next week. Um, Josh goes to Disney um, for the Funko Pop, Funko Pop chat. Karki, hello, welcome. I love when we find car key. <laughs> um, but I'm so excited for next week because I'm going to learn a lot about Funko Pops. But this shirt that says, oh, you can't see. I want to be where the people aren't. So shout out to Patrick and the mermaids. Um, Brandy has this shirt is so, so soft. I haven't had a chance to wear it yet. But I'm so excited to be wearing this um, just because... I mean, it's so, like, I could just snuggle with it. It's so comfortable. Um, this is from B. Jux Boutique on Facebook, um, Brandy's Facebook. And you guys know me. Uh, well, actually, you might not. <laughs> you might not know, like, in if you, like, encounter me in person, <laughs> I'm actually very, very introverted. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, ooh, <laughs> people. <laughs> get me away from them. Uh, I'm also just like very awkward. So for the most part, um, I want to be where the people aren't. So <laughs> I love the little mermaid. I love that kind of play on it. So it's kind of like Disney inspired, but not totally Disney where people like, <laughs> I've had people at work tell me, Oh, Donna, thank you so much for posting that. I've had people tell me at work. They're like, Oh, you're not, you're not wearing a Disney outfit today. Like what's wrong? <laughs> I, cause I like to sprinkle a little bit of Disney into my, into my fashion. Um, but this is perfect because it's also like the most soft Donna said she had the same shirt. Um, and I'm sure Donna could vouch for it as well. Like it is so, so soft and just super stretchy. And I know that Brandy has a whole bunch of sizes available in the boutique. She like drops, um, releases different things all the time. So, uh, please, please go check out her, um, boutique. And then, um, 
Let's see, I will move on to uh, Lauren's next because Lauren is here and I see her. Um, but Lauren's hit me this super cute card. Uh, first, let me just like um, show you the envelope because like she put all of these Halloween stickers. <laughs> it's super cute. She put my name on it. I love it so much. Uh, thank you so much, Lauren. And then it says, you're the best with like a little Sriracha bottle. <laughs> I love Sriracha. I don't know if, um, Meg, is the t-shirt see-through fabric or more sturdy? It's not see-through. Um, so that is a big bonus for all my ladies that, uh, it's like super stretchy, but it's opaque. So, um, that's my hand. I mean, I also have a big ring light on, so, um, but that's, you can't see my hand. Um, but yeah, it comes in a lot of different sizes. And yes, <laughs> this is a super awesome card though. And she even put like all these stickers in here too. Like it's just, it. when I opened it, it was so, it just made me so happy. Um, she said, this is half of your tr treats. No tricks this year. We can't take it. <laughs> happy Halloween. Love Lauren at Lauren's Travels. Um, and then she sent me also some stickers. <laughs> who doesn't love some good stickers I love like I, like I said it's still Halloween for me like I'm not in the Christmas I mean I'm making Christmas items but for me it's still Halloween like I'll make Halloween stuff all year long um but maybe that's because I'm a fan of the nightmare before Christmas and uh that's like Halloween and Christmas E I love stickers too who doesn't love stickers but she sent me a pin in here <laughs> And it's, I'm, I'm going to unravel it for you guys. Um, and hinting to my love of the name before Christmas, I do not have this pin. So I'm very excited. Um, it is the mayor from the Nightmare before Christmas. There you go. Oh, it is such a pretty pin. Look at that. Oh, there we go. I love it. And it's even on like a little tombstone. But the mayor is one of the coolest characters, I think, from The Nightmare Before Christmas. He's so versatile and um, purple is my favorite color. So I love that the, uh, the the pin like on the headstone, that's what it's called. It's stickerific. <laughs> Guys, bring all the puns. Uh, I love it. Um, so I'm very excited about this. Thank you so, so much, Lauren, for that amazing, amazing mail. Uh, it made me so happy. I finally figured out he's my favorite from the movie. Oh, that is so exciting. I have too many favorites. So <laughs> yes, he is very hard to find on a pin. And Lauren had sent me, oh, she also sent these stickers. More stickers. <laughs> Hollywood Studios. Um, oh, I didn't see this one. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see this one. <laughs> okay, quick, before I start blushing. Um, it's got Chuby, Kylo Ren, and the Stormtroopers. Oof. I'm very excited about that. Thank you. <laughs> um, so thank you so much, Lauren, for that. That was so kind of you. I'm going to move on to another shirt because uh, this one is from Miss Karen Cook. And Karen is so kind. She was like, I'm going to Disney. Uh, there's a shirt that I saw that, you know, I want to get you. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I, you guys are so kind to me and I just can't like <laughs> I can't handle your kindness sometimes because I'm like I I, I don't have anything to give you back <laughs> and I'm like let me pay for it you know but then everyone's like no 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 like it's a gift like no did I get the second half what was the second half <laughs> I hope I didn't miss anything <laughs> that was like someone had left me a comment on one of my videos they're like you know that there was a spoon with that I'm like I found it. I found it later when I was getting ready to throw things away. Um, Lauren, send me a message after, and I, I hope that I didn't miss anything. Um, but this shirt is from Karen, and it says, it's been a real slice, and it's got Megara. It was another package. Oh, no. <laughs> I will have to make sure that uh, I didn't miss anything, because... I typically will keep packages just in case I've missed something, but I think that's that's what I had. <laughs> I will have to figure it out. <laughs> Thank you, though. Um, this one, I love Megara so much. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, Cherie, that's so kind of you. You guys are, seriously, like, let me, if I just get real, real for 
one second. Um, you guys are, you know, it's Monday nights are something that I always look forward to, you know, if I'm having a bad day or, um, it's been a long day and, you know, there are a lot of times that I'm like, Oh, I, I don't even want to stream right now. But then like when I get on, it's like, Oh, I'm so glad to be here with you guys and hanging out with friends and, you know, uh, getting to, to spend time with, you all amazing people. It's just, oh, it's such a treat. So thank you so much for spending time with me. Uh, who knew that we would find such amazing friends uh, in this community. Jennifer, this is from Disney. And I don't know if it's on the Shop Disney website, but Karen had gotten it in the park for me, which is so, so kind of her. Um, and she was like, there's all these, um, all these amazing Hercules things. Like, have you seen them? And oh, I just love this shirt so much. So thank you so, so much. Um, it's, <laughs> I just love it. Oh, Disney Style Store has them too. Awesome. Rock and Robin, hello, welcome. Um, but thank you so much, Karen, guys. Once again, please, please send all your prayers to Karen. Uh, I just, oh, and I love Karen so much. She, my heart. Um, oh, Dre, you guys are, duh, don't make me cry. Um, I'm pretty sure that's on Shop Disney now. Awesome. So if you guys are interested, check out the Shop Disney website. Um, if you are a Visa card member, they have 20% off today, tomorrow, and then starting Wednesday. I'm like, what day is it? Starting Wednesday, it's 25% off. Hey, Corey, welcome. Uh, so apparently we learned that Corey's hair does not glow in the dark, which is, uh, you know, I feel like that's kind of a letdown. I thought your hair was magic like Rapunzel, but Maybe that's for future. That's for Halloween next year, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to ruin any surprises. But Corey, guys, he did such an amazing stream last night at Magic Kingdom showing all of the incredible Christmas decorations. Uh, oh, uh, this this mail stream with Meg and not a mail stream. Wait, who said that the other day? <laughs> I don't remember now. They were like, is it a M-A-I-L M -A -I -L stream or M-A-L-E stream? And I'm like, it is, it's a, it's a maelstrom, or maelstrom, pronounce. Okay, that's not good. Um, anyway, okay, this next one, I had gotten this package. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, um, when this, I just have to highlight this. It does glow in the dark, but only when Steph rubs my belly. So... We all know the truth now. Uh, maybe we'll get Steph to do it on a stream one time so we get to experience the magic. Um, but that's definitely very, very interesting. Um, but this next piece of mail, um, I have no idea who it came from because it came from a small shop. And the small shop didn't include anything of where it was from. Um, so, <laughs> or who it was from. So if you're in here, and someone sent this to me, please let me know. I would love to just say thank you <laughs> because this is super cool. I haven't even, hey Kay Atwood, welcome. I haven't, I haven't even opened this fully, um, but it is from the small shop, Let Petite Mouse, handcrafted accessories, um, and Melissa is the designer. So is this it, Lauren? <laughs> It might be from Lauren then, because it didn't say who it was from. And, oh, that's it. Okay. Oh, thank Lauren. Thank you so much. I was like, who is this from? <laughs> thank you so much. This is, I feel like I should finally take it out. I didn't want to take it out just in case, because I was like, oh my gosh, what if <laughs> this wasn't meant for me? <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm like, I don't think this is for me. Cool drummer. Hello. Welcome. Uh, this is so cool. I feel like my camera's working really well tonight. So this is a little, um, like, I don't know, pin kind of. Um, this is super cool. It's Oogie Boogie, and I feel like it's got to glow in the dark or something with this. It's like resin and uh, the dice. Like, it's just oh, it's so well done. It is so cool. Uh, I love this so much. So, Lauren, thank you so much. I'm glad I didn't throw anything away. <laughs> I was so mortified and mortified to hear that. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope I didn't, I didn't mess anything up. Um, but I'm so glad that I didn't mess anything up. And then I finally found out 
who this is from because I was like, oh my gosh, who sent this to me? Thank you. So Lauren, thank you so, so much. Uh, this is so kind. And ah, uh, oh, Patrick, you're so kind. Guys, I actually just put up um, some ornaments. I'm gonna do some personalized ornaments come uh, for like Christmas ornaments. So if you guys are interested, I, I just posted a few um, for like dogs. <laughs> and if you have like a furry friend and uh, you wanna get them a personalized ornament, let me know, cause I'll, I'll hook you up. Um, someone said, I, I can't turn off all of them. Oh, I'm turning it up. No. No, I think it's just really sparkly. And that's what I look like without my ring light on. So hello, I'm, I came back from the dark. Um, yes, so awesome. Thank you so much, Lauren. The next thing I got is, I'm like trying to move things around my desk strategically without showing addresses. <laughs> um, I think that, I don't remember if this came with a card. Oh, it did, oh my gosh. Oh wait, I got a few other things in here. Wait, I forgot, I forgot Karen's card. <laughs> Because I put all the cards in here. Okay, I think that's it in here. Um, this is, okay, this is from, wait, ah, bear with me. <laughs> I think this is Karen's card in here. I'm sorry, Karen. Let me show the, the card. Okay, let me just, yes, it is. Okay, kindness is rare and beautiful. Look how pretty that card is. Oh. I'm so sorry, I, forgot. I was putting all the cards in at one spot so that I didn't lose it. Um, and Karen just wrote me the, the most incredible note. Um, so I don't know if you if you want me <laughs> to read it, um, but she said, um, <laughs> this is so funny that I was just talking about it. She said, I know you don't understand why we want to send you things. So consider this an early birthday present. <laughs> Love, Karen. <laughs> Ah, I just love, I love the fact that I was just talking about, oh, you want me to, okay, I can read the card, awesome, <laughs> like, I, I never know, like, sometimes people write, you know, personal things in there, um, so Meg, as always, I want to thank you for all your kindness, it's a joy to know you and call you a friend, you always make me smile and sometimes cry with you, because you, we all know that I don't cry, um, love your streams and all you do in this amazing community, which has given me friends for life, um, and then on this, kindness is rare and beautiful. And she said, thank you for yours. Love, Karen. Um, and then the thing about me not wanting. <laughs> she's like, I know that you don't understand why people want to give you things. But consider this an early birthday present. So thank you for my early birthday present. Um, this one. Okay, wait. Okay, I'll do this one first. I'm just like very excited. <laughs> this one is from someone very special who went to some place very, very special. Um, and one day I would like to go to this location. Um, I'm sure all of us would that are Disney fans um, because it's really like the birthplace of Disney. It's the birthplace of uh, Main Street and, and Magic Kingdom pretty much. Um, so I got a postcard from Marceline, Missouri from Miss Leanne Sherbeck. Leanne is so kind to have sent me this. Uh, she, I remember in, in some chat, she was like, hey, does anyone want a postcard? You know, I'm going to be in Marceline. And they have like a tour there, I think, um, for Walt's, you know, the Walt Disney uh, Museum or, or whatever it is. Um, but I would love to go there and visit myself. But she was like, hey, does anyone want a postcard? And, and I'm so bad on Twitter. So if you guys... Um, ever tried to send me a message on Twitter and it takes me like a couple days to get back to you. Like, I'm so sorry. Instagram is much better for me. Um, but I, I obviously didn't see it in time and, and I was so bummed because I was like, I was going to offer to pay for one just to, to have one sent. But here she took the time to send me one out of the, the kindness of her heart without me even asking for one. So Leanne, thank you so, so much for this. She just said, cool, huh? And that was it. And um, it just said Walt Disney P.O. Box uh, or P.O. Post Office. Sorry, Post Office. Um, Happy Hopper. Hello. And Chicken Sandwich. Hello. <laughs> We're talking about Marceline, Missouri right now. Jersey Mike. Hello. Thank you guys for being here. And then she put a little Wally uh, post post uh, postage uh, stamp. <laughs> what is that word? Post stamp. Um, so it says another Marceline sunset ignites the very location that helped inspire Walt's parks all across America, Main Street, USA. So just 
Oh, I'm trying to get it without. The, oh, it's so I want to go there really badly. It's just this is a, such a special one, um, special piece of mail to get. And I also want to shout out Myers of the Mouse, Kelly and Mama Mouse, because they um, last year had taken a trip to Marceline and uh, without also asking, they went to some location um, in Marceline that I think it was like part of Walt's studio or, or some farm area. And a lot of people had left their autograph kind of like Walt did. Um, so people signed their name on, on the wood in the building and, and the whole thing was covered. And um, Myers and the Mouse, Kelly and Mama Mouse, they left not only my name, but they left all of this and that. Um, they left their name. It was just, you know, Walt's Barn. Yes. So Walt's Barn. Um, it was such a special moment to to get to see my name on this uh, historic, historic place. And yeah, it's just to get mail from here too. Like I would love to go here one day. Um, so thank you so much, Leanne, for sending me this. Uh, yes, they, they left a lot of names there. It was, it was so cool. Um, so Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Leanne. Uh, I would love to visit Marceline one day. Um, so this next one is super cool. I can't wait to show it. Yeah, that's it. Um, so <laughs> last night I was actually on um, a channel called The Siskateers. They have been doing really cool ear swaps the whole year. Um, but if you guys have, have heard of their channel, they, they had me on last night to talk about the Disney villains. And I think most of you guys know my favorite Disney villain is the evil queen from Snow White. She is the ultimate uh, villain, in my opinion, because she is the first villain. She's very elegant, regal, and I love her so much. But um, this is from Super Disney Fam. And they sent me this really awesome postcard of the beast. And it said, hi, Meg, we just wanted to send a quick thank you for all your great streams. Love Super Disney fam, Nick, Shayna, Lauren, Lindsay, Jacob, and Sam. And then they sent me this. I, you guys are so talented in this community. So Lauren, their daughter, made this. So... That's why I'm like, yes, yes, yes. All the villains. I love the evil queen. Um, this is so, so kind for like, I remember when Pam did her drawing of the evil queen for me as well. Um, I love getting art from you guys. It's, it's, it, it's so special. Cause I know how much time and effort and how much of your heart goes into artwork. Um, so just thank you so much. This is such a gift. Uh, so wow. Look at this guys. So much talent. The Evil Queen, The Magic Mirror. So go send some love over to Super Disney fam. Uh, I'm just very, very grateful for this. It's super awesome. Thank you, Lauren, for drawing that for me and for your wonderful postcard. And then um, I have two things left, but one of them <laughs> I haven't fully opened yet. So I'm super excited. Um, this next one I picked up most recent. and. This is from a very special place as well. The Evil Queen is flawless. I 100% agree with you. Um, this came from Hawaii. <laughs> so Elena from Hawaii, you guys know Elena. She's she's uh, pretty new to our community, but she's in pretty much like every chat. And I love to say aloha Elena because that's, it's just like, it just rolls off the tongue, you know? Um, so she was so kind and she sent me, a card in this little bag. So I'm gonna read the card first. Elena is so kind and um, she she supported my Etsy shop and she just, oh. And, and when you guys tell me that, she said that this was like her first, like one of her first pair of ears, like she only owned like one pair of ears before. And for the people that say, this is my first pair of ears or whatever, and you're asking me to make your first pair of ears, like that is such an honor. Cody, hello, welcome. So I love that you guys sent me Halloween mail. <laughs> So it says, boo to you, and it says a really cute ghost. Oh, I love it so much. And oh, aloha, Meg. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your Halloween month. Uh, oh, she She's just loving all of your Halloween looks. Thank you so much. All of my Halloween looks. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elena. Um, I saw the design on this little bag from one of our local stores and thought it was so cute. It's not Disney, but I hope you'll like it anyway. Oh. I love it. I love anything that's cute. 
It is a bit of Halloween in Hawaii. The best part of these crazy times has been gaining new friends like you, even though we have never met. Mahalo for always being so sweet. Your kindness and thoughtfulness means a lot. Oh, hugs and smiles, Elena. Oh, P.S. Aren't the mini ears on? Oh, there's mini ears on here. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is super cute. If you guys can see, I want to open this. Oh my gosh. I made your first pair of ears too. <laughs> yes. I, I definitely want to frame all of the artwork that um, everyone's given me. I, it's going to take me, you guys know how hard it is for me to open boxes. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Timothy. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I got two ears there too. Um, oh my gosh, this bag is so cute. And if you guys, um, I mean, you probably don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you would know. But in, in Connecticut, um, it's actually like, it's a law that you have to uh, like bring your own bags into the stores um, or else you have to pay a fee to get plastic bags. So like getting little bags like this is amazing because I'll put all my little vegetables in here and all my food. But, oh, my gosh, there are little mini ears on here. Okay, let me – so there's, like – there's a – oh, this – I can't do that. Um, That's hang loose, right? Where's Elena to teach me this stuff? I think this is hang loose. There's a little hang loose vampire, which is the cutest thing. <laughs> um, There's, like, a little uh, – would you guys call that a mouse or a cat? And there's a little, I think this is a cat. This is a little cat um, pirate and a little dog, like Mary Poppinsy. And then uh, this is like a little uh, sushi bowl or, or <laughs> clearly um, I'm not good at Hawaii Halloween, but I would love to learn more because this is awesome. Like a little um, kind of pumpkin pineapple-y thing, which is so cute and little ghosts. And oh my gosh, this is adorable. <laughs> I just, I love it so much. So thank you so much, Elena, for this. These are, I'm trying so hard, Lauren. <laughs> my descriptions, my the little pumpkin pineapple with the light. <laughs> so thank you so much for that treat from Hawaii. Hey, Rita, welcome. Rita, I need to send you um, a message because I know that you're a big Funko Pop fan as well. And we're doing a Funko Pop stream next week. So I wanna have you on as well. Um, Teresa, hello, welcome. <laughs> Um, so my last piece of mail, and then we could chit chat about whatever you guys like. Um, I actually just got this, so I haven't even, uh, opened it fully, but I'm going to take it. Oof. Oof. So a huge thank you to Mr. Ryan McDowell and his wife, um, for getting me this. Ryan, please remind me. <laughs> Alyssa, welcome. If Ryan is still in here, Ryan, I will send you a message after the stream. Um, because Ryan picked me up this, I, it still even has the plastic on it. I'm going to take it off. Um, the mini jumbo, the haunted mansion, a ghost will follow you home pin. I'm trying to get it. Oh, that's better. So, oh, look at that wallpaper. Like the, um, the, the maid outfit. Sorry. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, this pin glows in the dark as well. Meg gets so excited. She loses words and speaks is hard. I, oh, guys, I stutter a lot. So that's why <laughs> streams are hard sometimes. So if you guys like are nervous about streaming, just think back to me because I never ever know what I'm doing. And uh, my brain sometimes doesn't work. Uh, like my, <laughs> my brain sometimes works so fast that it, it doesn't process like correctly what uh, I'm saying. So <laughs> also, I just get very excited. So um, this stream is it's this pin, this pin, not stream. The, the stream is, I'm sure, gorgeous too, but the pin is go more gorgeous. Um, look at that. It's so cool. And it is um, a limited release, but I feel like these sold out. And if anyone uh, has access to the parks, um, I don't know if, like, Donna, have you seen this in the parks? Or Sam, have you seen this in the parks recently? Because... Um, I haven't seen any pictures of it, so I feel like maybe it sold out. But you got Phineas, Gus, and Ezra in there, and uh, it's at the Haunted Mansion. Oh, the detailing. Sorry, I just need to look at this for a second because they did this style on the open editions. Ooh. Yes, Lauren also lives in, in the area too, so. 
Let me know if you guys have seen these. Um, but this pin glows in the dark. And Ryan sent me a picture of it originally, of it glowing in the dark. And he's like, I'm so happy I got this. And I'm like, wait, you're in Disney? <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah. And he's like, hey, did you want one? And I was like, oh, my gosh, yes, I want one. Let me know what I owe you. <laughs> and I always feel really bad. Um, and this is what I told him. I said, I don't ever want to ask anyone to do pickups for me because I feel bad. Um, and the only other time that I asked for a pickup was for the Lion King 25th anniversary pins. And, and Corey was able to get me one. Corey Fiasco. And I'm very, very grateful um, for anyone that has ever done a pickup for me. So <laughs> thank you very much. Cases Meg, I have trouble with my brain moving faster than my mouth can form the words. Yeah, I. Um, <clears throat> many of you guys know I had a TBI, so I think it's just um, partially from that and partially from uh, me being excited. So um, my brain, eh. <laughs> it just, you know, when you talk about things that you're excited about, sometimes words don't work. Um, do you ever buy pins on eBay? Uh, yes, I do, but you have to be super careful on eBay, uh, just because you never know if something's fake. And, um, I'm, I already have a date planned. I have to reach out to everyone, um, like Lauren and Donna and, uh, Melissa. And I'm trying, I'm going to see if Ryan from Disney Pins Vlog can come on as well to do a, a Christmas pin stream, Disney pin stream. Um, so we can also talk more about like we've been doing sort of like Disney pin trading 101. Uh, and I, I know that a lot of you guys have a lot of questions and we could definitely touch upon eBay a little bit more. Um, I do have a video from like two years ago of me talking about eBay um, and pins, but it can be really hard to, uh, to, to figure out if they're fake or not. Hey, Gracie, welcome. I just opened your uncle's mail. So a huge thank you to Uncle Ryan, because everyone needs an Uncle Ryan and an Uncle Steve. Um, let's talk about the upcoming Walt Disney World Happy Meal Toys. The last time they did Walt Disney World related Happy Meal Toys was back in 1998 for Animal Kingdom's grand opening. That is pretty awesome, Avery. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan of McDonald's, but I am a huge fan of Steve going to McDonald's. Um, oh, oh, Donna. Okay, I will. I, I don't have my phone with me right now. So. <laughs> I will definitely check it out. Um, I hope it's not an emergency. If it is, I will go check it right now. Um, just let me know. But uh, I, I'm a fan of of Steve going to McDonald's. And Steve, actually, I'm going to say it on here. So I'm going to put it out into the universe because I don't know how many people were watching. But Steve did promise me that when we do, we're going to redo the Grinch makeup because missed it last year. Um, so if also you guys don't know Steve, Steve from Steve's World, who goes live right before me, um, an amazing, amazing person. But he <laughs> he does some, as he likes to say, face painting streams. We call them makeup streams as well. Um, we do makeup together. And last year we did the Grinch and it didn't turn out as well as we had hoped. But Steve also, something about his lighting made him look blue. So... <laughs> Everyone for the majority of the stream was saying that he looked like he was a member of the Blue Man Group. <laughs> so uh, that's pretty exciting that we're going to redo that. Oh, it's about a pin. Okay. I cannot wait to read that then. I'm very excited. Um, it is almost McRib season, so couple that with Disney toys, and it's all a win. Exactly. And I'm pretty sure... Cody from Strive to Do Better and Steve are going to do a McRib off um, because you know that Steve will never ever give up a challenge when it comes to food or drinking anything. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But Steve did promise me, I'm putting this out here, when we do our next Grinch makeup stream, which is going to be in December, he's already confirmed. He told me, yes, he promised that he is going to go to McDonald's afterwards he, on the stream and he's going to go get his McRib. I said that I won't make him run around the car like they did when he was Olaf saying, I like warm hugs, or I said no pickles. Oh, hey, Keith, big Disney fan. Hello. Uh, so if you guys missed any of the streams last year where Steve went to uh, McDonald's to get McRibs dressed as characters, um, specifically Olaf, like when Frozen 2 was coming out, and he's like, hello, did you see my movie? <laughs> they were like, what? <laughs> Steve has gone to McDonald's, uh, the McDonald's drive through in a variety of costumes. So be sure to check that out. And also be sure to come back in December when we do the Grinch makeup. 
and Steve gets a McRib dressed as the Grinch. Um, it's going to be fantastic. I'm very excited for it. So there's that. Um, and on on a like kind of painting related note, I know that um, yes, Rito, we, we both did the Grinch last year, but. We'll have to see because Steve and I have sometimes been doing different characters, but I think that we are probably going to do the Grinch as like a redeeming, a redemption thing. <laughs> of course, Stacy has the timestamp. Uh, want to see Steve and Ian go to McDonald's and go <laughs> do a, a Chinese fire drill by himself yelling, I said no pickles. Timestamp is one hour, 11 minutes. Uh, so go check that out if you want to see, <laughs> if you want to see Steve do a Chinese fire drill. Um, yelling I said no pickles and uh the the original Grinch stream is last year from vlogmas of when we when we did it and Steve was a part of the blue man group but um on another sort of painting related note um I want to sort of throw this idea float it out to you guys um see if anyone was interested because I know that um memberships are like a thing um and I know a lot of people in our community have them and and you know for a long time I whenever it became available, I just wasn't very interested in it. Um, but I do want to um, see if anyone would be interested in doing a paint night, like once a month, if we did um, only one membership, one price, um, like $4.99. And I would love to do a paint night with you guys. I don't know um, if anyone would be interested in that. Let me know, give me feedback. Because um, if no one's interested in it, obviously, like, I don't want to do that. But I, I've gotten so many comments from people like asking to do walkthroughs and similar to what we did for um, Pete's like painting stream. I'm just going to call it Pete's painting stream. Um, when we did the winter scene last year on Diz and That for Christmas, um, I pretty much walked the guys through um, like starting the painting and uh, like then they added their own touch to it, which is obviously, you know, always an option. But I know a lot of people are very interested in in making home, hand, like homemade gifts and handmade gifts for Christmas and things like that. So I want to like float that idea out to you guys. Um, see if anyone would be interested. Um, and if if you're not, like no worries. I just thought um, people are doing like um, the the like private Zoom things, but I thought we could just do a fun hang and paint kind of like couple hour thing. Um, so if you guys like that, let me know. Uh, uh, would it be a Disney paint night or just any painting? I think that's like up to whoever wants to do it. If you guys are interested, um, I would love to do Disney or any other painting. Um, obviously, I think it would be cool to do things based around the holidays. Like if you wanted to give um, a family member a gift or hang up something in your house for the season. But um, it's it's like pretty easy to walk people through. And, and if you want to learn um I think you guys are all very, very capable. Speaking of an incredible artist, um, Nicole Irresistible Magic is here. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Nicole, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Chris, I would love to do that. I would just be disappointed at the end when yours would be, no, no, no. This is why like there, there's steps. And that's why like, if we were to do it, if anyone is interested, um, we would pick something that is very accessible for everyone. Karen, of course, you need to heal first. <laughs> Anyway, send me a message if you're interested. It, like, send it to, over to Instagram um, if you're if you're maybe interested in it because I would love to like get some feels about um, either if you're interested in participating or what kind of paintings you would want to do or um, if there's like a specific time. Um, oh, hi Tina! Hello, guys. Tina made the most incredible video for Pam, whose birthday was on. Halloween just a few days ago and she got everyone to say happy birthday to Pam and <laughs> it was just really nice so exactly Nicole art isn't a competition it's a journey and even if um I try to recreate the same drawing uh I could not ever I I don't know what time it would be I feel like it it might be better um on a weekend or like that's it for people who are interested I would have to um figure out like what time works best for everyone because I would want everyone to participate. So um, once again, that's just like a little feeler. Oh, good night, Patrick. Guys, make sure to check out Patrick's stream tomorrow, seven o'clock for baby Jack. Uh, I cannot wait, cannot wait for Jack to be on the stream. And oh, it's super exciting because I've been getting pictures and videos and like every time I look, I cry. <laughs> 
Exactly, Nicole. N N Inktober was really hard. I actually, I kept doing the drawings, but I, I wasn't happy with them. So I didn't want to post them to my Instagram, but I, it was definitely a challenge. Um, and you definitely cannot recreate a drawing, even if I tried very, very hard. And I do sometimes because people ask me to do things um, over and over again. And it's, it's a lot easier with some things like, uh, I don't know, but if for anyone that makes handmade anything, you know that it's impossible. Like nothing is going to look the exact same. Oh, Kat, hello. Kat was on the stream last night with me when we were talking about some amazing, amazing villains. Um, so Kat, that was awesome. Yes, PJ and Jack are adorable. <laughs> Two of my nephews. I love them very much. Um, have you tried any of the drawings from the Disney YouTube channel? I didn't even know that they had drawings on there. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I didn't know that. I have to go check that out after the stream, uh, along with Donna's pin <laughs> pin message. I'm That's all I'm thinking about now. I was just like, pins? What? Squirrel? Uh, so that's my brain right now. But, uh, oh, Isaac, have a great night. Congratulations on 700 subscribers. That is a huge feat. Uh, super exciting. Uh, have a great night. And also on a very similar note, uh, I am getting pretty close to 6,000 subscribers. So uh, hopefully it'll happen, you know, in the next couple months. If it doesn't, that's totally okay too. Um, but I am planning a fairly uh, large giveaway that, cause I just have stuff. Um, and I'm gonna give away some of my ears. Stacy, hello. Um, Stacy also on her channel hit 100 subscribers. Amazing. So much, so much good news. Um, oh, awesome. Keith, I, I don't have my phone right now, so I can't see, but congratulations on your news. Um, Nick, have a great, great night. Um, so yes, I'm very excited getting very close to 6,000, which is, I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> I just think that this is some weird, crazy alternate universe reality, uh, that people on the internet like me, <laughs> but I really like you guys, so <laughs> thanks for being a part of my channel. I, you know, like I am, I, <laughs> I'm definitely one of those people that um, have a really hard time taking compliments and and positive feedback. So I'm just like, hello, thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you for being here today. <laughs> I'm not a princess, but thank you for being here today. If anyone knows what that's from. <laughs> I have to stop. Anyway, uh, we have like 12 or so minutes left. So um, we could definitely talk about McDonald's toys. I don't know very much about them. Your, oh, your Tori eyed Barbie. Well, that's another good one. But that was I. That was from the Princess Diaries. Exactly, Stacey. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. I'm like actually, <laughs> I'm actually Anne Hathaway in that movie. So I'm just, and I also, uh, many more. <laughs> Many more is in that movie, and she is fantastic. Uh, I'm so glad you did that, Princess Diaries. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Get off the grass. I actually, ha I feel like I have to watch that movie because um, here's a here's a good topic. Has anyone seen any good movies recently? Because I feel like I'm on this weird. I started a new TV show, and uh, I haven't I haven't watched episode one of the the new season of Mandalorian. I'm, I'm trying to wait for my dad to catch up. So he, you know, he didn't finish the first season somehow. Um, so I'm waiting for him Then I'm going to watch the first episode with him. Um, but I started a new TV show and I just haven't felt like there's any good movies right now. Maybe that's because they stopped making movies. I don't know. Um, I do that to my husband all the time to get on his nerves. Thank you for being here today. Uh, Yes, Holiday with Emma Roberts. I think you said that the other night, Cody. I will have to watch that. It's too early for me for Christmas movies, um, but maybe in like a couple weeks I could watch that. Oh, I heard really good things about The Queen's Gambit. Uh, my brother watched it, and then I I, I know that it's um, about chess because uh, my brother called my mom and was like, hey, can I have, uh, we have like a couple chess boards because people, uh, like we made them and so I was like just like don't let him take one of them uh is it Friday yet hey well welcome <laughs> I hope it's not Friday yet uh I don't want this week to go by too fast um but it's Monday it's it's good 
it's a good Monday. Hello, Lana. Welcome. Have you watched Artemis Fowl? No, I have not. Um, I think Steve said it was pretty good, but who knows? Avery is here giving us all the information about the Happy Meal toys. Goofy Train, Minnie and Minnie, Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway Car, Mission Space, Pirates, Teacup, Jungle Cruise, Tower of Terror, Sword, Around the World, Dinosaur, and Everest. Um, wow. And a train. That's, that seems like a lot for... Uh, now, what can I eat at McDonald's? Uh, maybe I'll just give Steve money to go to McDonald's to get the Happy Meals. And then he could give me one of the toys. <laughs> Do I need little Happy Meal toys, though? I don't know. I, I used to collect them. If anyone um remembers any of the movies that were from, like, uh, like the purple guy. Who is the purple? Like, he looks like a ghost. And he's like a big, you can just, oh, you can ask just to buy the toys. Like watch me go through the drive through Like, um, hello, um, I'm here, but I don't want any of your food. Can I just get the toys? <laughs> okay, so you guys are all telling me that. <laughs> exactly, Rita. I put, I put, I don't know if you guys are like this too. Grimace. Okay, yes. <laughs> I'd like you guys, I like how you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. The purple guy. Like, I remember these movies, and I used to love the movies when I was a kid. Like, watch them on my, my VCR, and, um, like, I don't even remember what the plot was. I just remember the purple guy at McDonald's is Grimace. <laughs> I just remember him, um, because he had a really cool outfit on. I don't remember... <laughs> what the movie was even about there are like a couple movies and I'm we might have st we might still have them on VHS but I, yeah anyway I, but I don't know if you guys are like me I have like I have been on shop Disney the website like four different times today because I'm like let me just add this to my cart <laughs> and uh see you know if I could get something and I'm like oh, I don't need that like do I need another thing do I need it I'm like no no no, I don't and then I remove it from my cart and then I put it back in like maybe 15 minutes later I'm like oh like but I would like this and I have 20% off and like I really want that d23 pin uh the wreath from Mickey's Christmas Carol and so I, I add, added that one I'm like well I can't pay for shipping so <laughs> Let me add something else to my cart so I get free shipping. I'm like, but I can't do that. That's too much. <laughs> and then I'll I'll take it out and then I'll add it. <laughs> but I really, I really do want that D23 pin. Um, so maybe I'll I'll buy that at some point. But you know, the the pins have been selling out almost immediately. Nicole says, I'm stalking Walmart online for the, <laughs> the darn Disney Princess Happy Planner collection. I didn't know that was a thing, but I do need a 2021 planner. So um, if that is a good planner, they actually, um, we were at the store the other day and I saw, um, I saw a Thomas Kincaid 2021 planner. It was like $7. It was pretty cool. I didn't get it though. That free shipping is the death of me. I go from a $10 item to hundred bucks for free shipping. Literally me today, the cart. <laughs> I was like, let me just get this pin. This one pin was $24 and it's a, it's a, like a mini jumbo pin. It's I think, uh, three inches or so, whatever. And it's like an LE of 2,400 or, or whatever it is. And it's a D23 exclusive. Um, so I was like, let me just add this because I saw Ryan from Disney Pins Log had posted about it. I had seen that the pin was going to come out. And of course, I'm a, a D23 member. So I'm, I was excited about that, that I was able to have the potential to get it. I'm like, pins, you know, <laughs> shake. Uh, but I added it and then I'm like, well, that new candy cane lounge fly bag looks really nice. <laughs> let me just add that. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, uh, do I need another lounge fly bag? Like, probably not. No, let me take it out. <laughs> And then I'm like, but the free shipping, right? Like, and I kept looking and I'm like, do I, should I get more pins? Like, no, I don't like any of the pins that much to, I don't know. This is my, this is my dilemma. I shouldn't be spending money on, on Disney stuff. So, uh, uh, Stacey says there is a Thomas Kincaid Disney daily, daily planner too. I missed buying last year. So as soon as I saw this year's, I bought it right away. Just in case that's why. <laughs> my cost 2020 oh this has been a year hasn't it but i i use planners no matter what 
no matter what's going on, I, I need to keep track of some things. Um, so yes, I have like, uh, I think I have two planners for this year, but they, they hold separate things. Five, maybe not as much. <laughs> Oh, uh, Melissa, hello. Meg, I totally know what you mean. I got the D23 pin and the Toys for Tots pin. Oh, I know. I'm just like, I want the pin and I don't want to pay the shipping, right? Because it's like, at least it's a weird, it, it's like the price point. Um, It's, oh, taking out the rainbow jumbo pin that you got on sale. Uh, that's a nice pin too. Uh, I mean, I really like that pin, but there's, oh, you know, I was going to get the little Mickey Santa one. And I was like, that's super cute. And my 20% off, it was $7.99. I'm like, that's a pretty good price for a pin. Um, but I don't know. I'm like, I can't spend it. <laughs> ah. Oh, Kit, that's awesome. You found me on Instagram. I like Instagram. I know how to use it. I don't know how to use very many other social media platforms. So <laughs> I'm pretty good. Oh, oh, well, Rita's here. Because I, I forgot to post about it in my story. Um, for anyone that is interested, this upcoming weekend, who, who wants to try and exercise, um, I know that Nicole has been um, participating. Um, I'm a part of a running group called the Fairy God Runners, and we all love Disney very much. Um, you guys probably know most of them. Uh, the Enchanted Rita, Rita, who's in the chat right here. I'm sure you know her now. <laughs> um, uh, Jessie from Miss Cherry's channel. She's, you know, she is very big as well. <laughs> and then we have... Katie from Over the Mooney, who's also super awesome. Uh, everyone, like, we, we, I mean, everyone is so amazing and super inspirational. And we've all been on this, like, health journey the whole year, even before 2020 really hit. <laughs> before it hit. Um, and so our whole goal for this year was to do this Villains Wine and Dine Half Marathon, which is actually this upcoming weekend. So we have the sign up for... Uh, for some reason, it wasn't working. I don't know why. Um, but finally, it's open, the sign up. So if you guys want to sign up with us, um, you could sign up to do a 5K, um, a 10K, or the half, whatever you feel comfortable with. You can even just sign up and do it as many over the course of as many days as you need. Um, and you, we're going to do it all throughout the weekend. Uh, and then we're going to have an after party uh, live stream at 8 o'clock Eastern time, Sunday night. It's going to be super exciting. We're going to celebrate the half marathon. Uh, I know that um, Jessie's going to do, she was doing the challenge. So she's going to do the 10K and the half marathon. Um, and Rita and, and Katie, I think, are just doing the half marathon. But I don't want to say just because that's such a feat. Like they're doing the half marathon. Um, I'm still, I think we're going to try, like, because my family, my dad is going to do it with me, and uh, my mom's going to do the, I think we're going to do the 10K and the half. Um, so my mom is going to do the 10K with me, and my dad's going to run the half with me, and I'm super excited for that. So um, please, please sign up to do it with us. Um, the more people it, that sign up to do it with us, it's completely free. Um, the more fun that we get to have at the our after party, celebrating and um it's a villain's theme. So I'm super, super excited. And we've been working towards this for, for a lot of the year. And um, yes, it is a virtual run. So you can participate um, anytime that's available to you, that's convenient for you. Um, Cody, there, um, let me see if I can get the link before we end. I'm going to get the link for everyone and post it because um, it's in one of my last videos. So I can't see the chat for a second, but <laughs> I will be back in just a quick moment. Um, I'm just going to get this link. Boop, boop, boop. And I'm going to dance because I can't see anything. Okay. Okay. I think this is it. Let me get it. Also, a huge thing that is, um, there is a costume contest as well, which is super exciting. Um, the costume contest. Oh, Rita just posted it. Let me see here. There it is. <laughs> um, the costume contest, if you like dress up in a costume, you're going to win. You have the opportunity to win a prize. Um, and the prizes have been like really, really good. Like really good. <laughs> you don't want to miss it out on it. Um, people have won like, uh, I don't know, like credits to the Bippity store where you could get like a lounge fly bag or um, Corey costume, your hair glows. So you're already a Disney princess. Actually, I think you should be Mother Gothel because uh, Mother Gothel wants to steal your hair. But 
I digress. Um, if you guys want to sign up, please, please join us for this weekend. We're going to have a sweet after party um, or a villainous after party, might I say. Um, we're going to be running um, or you could walk, you could jog, you could do it on the elliptical, you could do it however you know you need to to, to meet your own physical health needs. Um, and we just, we want people to, to you know, participate, be active with us. Um, we're all trying to participate and get healthy. Um, for actual in Disney run Disney runs for people who have done them, is there any opportunity for disabled participants in particularly um, <clears throat> mobility disabilities? Um, I think so. And I think that when you sign up, you have to um, indicate that, but I would just talk, I mean, I don't know when the next in-person race is going to be, but I think that if you uh, contact them with any questions, they will definitely let you know. I know that people with mobility um, issues tend to go in the very beginning um, because they, <laughs> can we eat? What if we eat fast? Does that count? Um, I think Dave from Brandy and Dave participated in the dopey challenge the dopey food challenge or drinking challenge. So I think you could ask him 48.6 beverages or 48.6 snacks. You determine that. Um, very exciting. <laughs> but this weekend, if you are up for it, you could do 13.1. You could do 3.1. You could do 6.2. Whatever is comfortable for you. Um, Oodle Ali Lane, I think if you call Run Disney, whenever the next um, opening is for an in-person raise. Um, but this is a virtual one. It's not being timed. It's <laughs> I wish to Rita, right? Like whoever could eat, actually, I would get really sick if I ate very fast, but um, yes, feel free to join us. We would love to have you. It's completely free. If you have the time, um, join us. You could take as much time as you need. You could do it over the course of a few days. <laughs> Stacy, I wish, but no, that doesn't count. <laughs> but we just, we want to do this with all you guys and have fun and uh, just, you know, enjoy doing some fun fitness. Um, Oh, no worries, Cody. We I don't know if we're going to continue doing the 5Ks, but um, I know a few of us are definitely doing the virtual. I'm going to do the virtual Dopey Challenge, and I'm doing the virtual Princess Challenge. Um, I'm very excited. So I'm continue I'll be continuing my training um, post Wine and Dine Half because um, I'm not officially signed up through Run Disney for that one, but I am for the other two races. Especially if you eat ice cream too fast. Well, that could be painful. I love it. <laughs> Yes, you do, Russ. You definitely do. And that could be very, I, I mean, I wonder, Corey, how many miles you walk when you're in Disney, too, streaming. And and Josh, yes, Sam is doing the virtual Dopey Challenge with me. I'm so excited. Um, Reed is doing the Princess Challenge. So we have a lot of cool things coming up. If you guys um, don't follow along, we have an Instagram account um, that we have been occasionally posting in the feed, but we post a lot of stories in there as well, just like doing fitness stuff. Um, so I didn't even realize what time it was, so I'm sorry that I went over, but um, once again, I'm going to post this uh, link in the chat there if you guys want to sign up for It's Good to Be Bad, uh, the half marathon inspired by Run Disney and the Wine and Dine half marathon and uh, half marathon weekend. So if you guys want to do any sort of run, let us know, join us, and we will uh, hopefully see you guys on Sunday. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Please go check out Patrick tomorrow uh, with Jack. I'm very, very excited um, to see Jack on the stream. And of course, PJ, I hope PJ comes and um, I don't know what other videos I have coming up. But next week we are doing a Funko stream. We have a couple people that um, haven't been on stream before, which is super exciting. Uh, so that's like a, a new thing. Oh, Corey says, wait, Meg, <laughs> what am I waiting for? Oh, I've already gone over. I'm not Steve. I won't, I'm not Steve. I'm already five minutes over. <laughs> Nicole, have a great weekend um, or a great week. It's Monday. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Tim Pruitt. Hello, Tim. Uh, thanks so much, Cody. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't do my thing. Where is Mike Wheeler? <laughs> okay. First of all, Muppet Badge of Honor. <laughs> it's Joey's World. Joey, thank you so much for all you do. Lisa, Keith, thank you for all that you do. You guys are amazing. You bring so much like sunshine, smiles, happiness to our community. Can't thank you enough for what you do. Um, and our uh, magic moment for this week is Cody from Strive to Do Better because Cody hit 100 subscribers. Cody has awesome videos. If you are looking to get a very quick um, workout in, yes, oh my gosh, Stacy, I was like, oh, let's get off. But then I, <laughs> I would have let Mike down. I know I would have. Um, 
but please go check out Cody's channel. Um, Cody, it, like he does, I don't know, in between like a couple minute videos and ish, um, like every day he daily vlogs and a lot of them are um, fitness oriented. So if you need a really quick workout, go check out his videos. Um, he just moved to Florida as well. So I'm sure he's gonna be doing more um, Disney related stuff. But yes, thank you to Cody, um, congratulations. And also huge congratulations um, to Isaac and uh, Stacy and Sam and <laughs> and to all the people that had huge accomplishments. Um, I know Resort TV One had like 30 million views. Like that's bananas. Corey hit 33,000 subscribers, I think. Um, so, so many things to celebrate. Once again, so, send all your prayers to Karen for Thursday. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you uh, next week, at least. Uh, hopefully I'll put out a video sometime this week, but I will see you then. Check out Patrick tomorrow. Um, of course, the Disney That Guys on Wednesday. And, and of course, thank you to Dean from The Live Place. If you are ever interested in checking out any family-friendly live streams, he is there. He has over 100 live streamers. They are all family-friendly. It, it's not only Disney, it's like all over all over the place. Uh, there's so much content, um, but that has a schedule for everyone. So you can check out, there's so many cool people. Um, like Pete is going four days a week. Um, Steve goes Mondays. Um, Walt and, and Melissa go Tuesdays. Uh, Brandy and Dave go Tuesdays. Uh, Lake Buena Visitors goes Tuesdays. Patrick Zibidi Gia goes Tuesdays. Wednesdays, Pete and, and Diz, uh, Disney and Thursdays. Corey and Fridays, Resort TV One, and there's just so many people that stream all the time. So if you need a little Disney fix, go check out the live place. Um, but I will see you guys later. Um, go check out Pepper Tree Villa. They are live right now. Go tell them that uh, Steve's world is pretty, and I will see you guys there. Have a great night. Bye.